Mortgages are becoming a very, very real problem. For the first time in many, many years, those with a mortgage are seeing dramatic increases in their monthly repayments. There is, of course, an upside to this, and that is that savers are now getting a return on their cash money. I think what's really happening is we're returning to normality. Normality is an interest rate of 3 or 4 or 5 percent. We've been through two decades of almost zero interest rates. I don't believe that's benefited us one little bit. But now we are where we are, and a lot of people are facing very real problems in the short term. Well, Ben Beadle is chief executive of the National Landlords Association. And Ben, let's start with your sector. Um, a lot of people over the last few years have got into the buy-to-let market. Now, you know, some would argue they were speculators, but there is now a real problem, isn't there? Because if you've borrowed money to buy a house to let it, you can't write off the mortgage against the income. So what's going to happen? Uh, evening, Nigel. Well, you're Good. right, uh, and we've spoken about this on this show before, haven't yeah. we? You know, this mortgage problem comes at a monumental time for the sector where we've not only got uh, mortgages to worry about, but we have... Uh, the ability, uh, the inability to offset our full mortgage interest against our tax returns. We have the threat of regulation. We have the threat of energy. And there will be people, like you said at the outset, who are looking across at the rates they can get uh, at the bank and thinking, crikey, um, I'm not going to be kicked from pillar to post and I'll get a quiet life. I might consider that. And that's bad news for everybody. Yeah, I think it is. And more generally, I mean, for those people who've taken out mortgages, Kind of, you know, unless you're 40 years old, you can't really remember when mortgages were expensive. I mean, how big a crisis, Ben, do you think we're headed for? Well, I think it's going to depend what happens in a couple of days' time uh, when we're due another review of the base yeah. rate. Um, and I, I think that direction of travel is pretty much well trailed. Uh, the only way is up, it feels, uh, to coin my favourite 80s classic. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but I think the Bank of England are suggesting that the rates are going to stay high for some time. And that is going to be very problematic because, you know, landlords and property owners don't really have anywhere else to go. We've seen rents at, at fairly record highs for the past decade, uh, uh, since the, the past 10 years. Uh, and that's having a devastating impact on not just renters, but also the private private rented sector as a whole, where we don't have enough homes to start with. And it is uh, a real uh, uh, cataclysmic crisis in the making. It is. And yet, you know, but I made the point earlier that actually I think we're returning, we are returning to normality after a two decade aberration. But that takes a huge amount of adjustment. I also wonder, you know, David Cameron, George Osborne were really, really keen to push, you know, to get new buyers into the market, help to buy the big government initiative. People who didn't really have the money to buy houses were given some help to do it. And I'm guessing a lot of those people are going to be very seriously debt trapped now. Yeah, I think that's right. But, it, but it's also, I'm at pains to stress that bear in mind that stress testing has been in for the past six or seven years. And yeah. that was kind of geared against crises such as these so that people would be able to ride it out. But you're absolutely right. You know, those sort of encouragements around, uh, you know, zero percent mortgages and we saw um, uh, or zero deposit mortgages, rather. Uh, we, and we saw a few weeks or so ago those being reintroduced. That doesn't seem to be uh, the best time. What we need to see is actually a resetting of the tax system. We need to make it more um, beneficial to bring your home to the market and to make sure that people do have the right sort of homes in the right sort of places. And that's also a problem in itself. Yeah, but of course, I mean, you know, the reality of this, I mean, I was talking last night in the South East about the huge number of houses being built in Sussex and Kent at the moment, and now we've got water shortages and all the problems that go along with that. Um, at the minute, we're building about 180,000 homes a year. It's nowhere near enough to ease any of this crisis, is it? No, it's not. And it's also there di they are different types of crisis because there will be people that are looking at this, Nigel, and thinking, oh, well, that's good. Uh, landlords are selling. That's going to free up homes for first time buyers. Well, we don't have enough homes in the private rented sector anyway. Rents are a record high, as I said, for the past 10 years. We have a crisis of confidence. So it's all well and good to shuffle the pack. But if you're reducing one sector uh, or robbing Peter to pay Paul, actually, that's in nobody's interest because you do need a vibrant 
the private rented sector to turn gen rent into gen buy. Yeah, final thought. I mean, it's very odd. Here we are on the verge of the 13th rate rise, consecutive rate rise, yet the Eurozone is now in recession, but we're still overheating with inflation. What would you say, Ben, to the Bank of England ahead of their meeting? Would you say freeze or would you say raise? Well, I mean, given the direction of travel is for a low inflationary environment, I don't think that what, what anybody says is going to wash. I, I suspect the interest rates will go up. Um, uh, it's a question of by how much, whether it's 0 0.25 or, yeah. or 0 0.5. But I do think the government needs to take action to help renters and to help homeowners. It's no point calling in mortgage lenders for a talking shop. We need to see hard action and we need to see uh, tax breaks uh, as soon as possible. So tax breaks as opposed to bailouts, yeah? yeah? Absolutely, because bear in mind, George Osborne changed these tax breaks for landlords a few years ago, and yeah. this is exacerbating the crisis. It's not a giveaway. It's simply being able to offset your legitimate business uh, expense off your income. Simple. Ben Beadle, I get it. Otherwise, it's like paying corporation tax on the gross income of a company and not the net profit. I get it. 100%. Thank you for joining me. Folks, the housing crisis will get worse, I'm afraid.